What's going down y'all? Welcome to another video. We are back with another barber tutorial. In this one, I don't really know what the title of the video is going to be named just yet, but what I can tell you, the haircut itself, uh, natural comb over, a low to mid taper, and some beard work. So yeah, man, other than that, I don't really have nothing else to say. Let's get into it. All right, y'all, we're going to start out this haircut by taking down the sides using a number two on our Oster 76ers. Now, in between this number two up to his curls, something happened this day. Well, something was so weird, my camera just stopped recording. Uh, so after this you guys are gonna see me just jump right into the taper without me fading up to the comb over So all I did to fade from this number two up to the comb over hairs was a long number three at the top And then I just used open open and closing a number two and a number three guard to fade from this two That we're using now up into the long number three close to his comb over hairs Alright y'all, with this taper, I'm not going to fast forward this step because this method is probably the same method I use 99% of the time uh, nowadays. So this is probably my updated method when doing taper. So I'm not going to fast forward. I want you guys to grasp the ideas and really pay attention to the steps I use. attention to the little text on screen I'm saying use the corner of the blade when you use the corner of the blade it becomes way more accurate when you're working these little tight temple areas of the taper so if you were using the whole length of the blade you'd be cutting down the hairs close to the lineup and when you go line it up the hairs won't be dark so using the corner of the blade is, is a way to keep the, the hairs on the lineup dark but you also get more accuracy when you're doing the taper hopefully that made sense
And moving on to some shear work, you always have to wet your client's hair before you use the shears. Uh, this is gonna be a light, subtle trim, not too much off, off the top. But what you guys are gonna see me do is I'm gonna comb the front hairs out of the way first so I can work on the back hairs. I like to keep the back hairs shorter than the front because uh, when you leave the front longer than the back, it gives the, uh, the haircut way more style, way more substance. And as far as shearing goes for me, I don't feel like I could sit here and teach you step by step a proper method how to shear because I, knew, I was never taught properly how to use shears i learned over time i think i'm above average when it comes to using shears i'm not the best i'm not the worst so for me to sit here and act like i can teach you step by step and actually help you guys i don't think i'm gonna be able to give my best in this area but i can get down with some shears you guys know that uh but other than that try to find another video try to examine what i do and copy it whatever works for you guys um, just know that sharing is very very easy but it can take a wrong turn if you get too scissor happy And same thing goes with clipper over comb. I don't really know the exact angle you're supposed to hold the comb. I get it done. I really enjoy using clipper over comb. I probably use clipper over comb more than you guys think, like with my back tapers on curls, comb overs, undercuts. It just depends what type of hair I'm working with and what guard I can use. If I'm not able to use a certain guard, I always go to clipper over comb. So you guys should invest in some skills when it comes to clipper over comb. It saves time and it saves the effort of working on long hair, bulky areas, stuff like that. see me use shaving gel but my client's beard was so thick this is called shave oil it, it kind of makes the hair a little bit softer it, it's at one step further to make that skin ready to be hit with the razor so I, I will use the shave oil from easy blade shaving gel link will be down in the description go copy some products uh, so I will use the shave oil before I use the shaving gel just to go one step further and making the skin soft smooth and, and ready for the lineup And when lining up someone's beard with a razor is probably, you guys know, it's probably the most satisfying thing to watch, let alone do. So uh, with this, all you have to do is pull the skin, 
keep the razor flat, but you also don't want to knock down too much of the beard. If someone has a beard, that's probably the most precious thing on their face, to be honest with you, because I would kill to have a beard, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so keep it as natural and as thick as possible, but you do want to have that nasty, sharp uh, C cup, whatever you guys want to call it. saw was his haircut without a part in it but he did request a part and i was already filming so i was like fuck it i'll show you guys a hard part as well uh, in my opinion i thought this haircut looked better without a hard part uh don't get me wrong it still looks dope with a part in it uh so you guys can be the judge let me know down in the comments other than that hit the like button turn my notifications on hit the subscribe button share all that good stuff and i will see you guys in the next one peace